Hey guys, what's in your pockets today? Stick around. And now for something completely different. Hey, hey guys, welcome back to Arabin Outdoors. Hey, I'm Arabin, but you knew that, didn't you? Hey guys, today I'm doing a pocket dump. It's been about 10 months since I did one, and, um... This is a warm weather pocket dump because it's still warm even though it's October. In colder weather I would have a coat and I would have extra supplies in my coat pockets as well. But we hit 84 degrees yesterday, October the 8th in South Carolina. Go figure. Yeah, I just watched a video by the M.I. Woodsman. The M.I. Woodsman. If you haven't checked out his channel, I recommend you do so. And uh, uh, looking at the monitor, I see that my camera is a little bit astray. So I apologize for that. I'm not going to take the time to fix it because it's about to rain, I believe. Just pretend it's an old Batman video. Remember how sometimes the Batman, the original Batman, with Adam West, the camera would just all of a sudden tilt sideways. Just imagine you're watching an old episode of Batman. Alright, so as you saw, bugs are crazy. As you saw at the beginning of the uh, clip here, I just un emptied out my pockets. And I have what's in my pockets. Uh, the video that I was just telling you about, it was an open tag. So, uh, I figured it's been 10 months since I've done that. One thing you'll notice, if you watched that video, not much has changed at all with my everyday pocket dump. Now, this isn't my everything that I carry every day. This is just what I have on me, in my pockets. Um, I have my everyday carry bag my Ozuko uh, sling bag, which I made a video on. I'll put a card to it right up here. Yeah, over here somewhere. You can go check out that video. And uh, then, oh, got something on my phone. And then at the end of the video, I'll put two end screens of other things that I also carry wherever I go in my vehicle. And that sort of thing. But this is just stuff that's in my pockets. Start with my shirt pocket. The only time I wear a shirt that doesn't have a pocket in the front is if I'm golfing and I wear a golf shirt, a polo type of shirt. But that's a whole other video. It's a good idea for a video. What's in my golf bag? I'll do that later on. But anyway, top left pocket. I always keep my Sminnaker pen. Uh, it is a uh, self-defense type of pen. Um, if you look at it, it's got a very durable clip on it. So it clips onto the pocket well. The tip has a uh, carbide tip that can be used for self-defense but it's really intended for breaking glass out of automobiles. And of course, it writes. It's a pen. That's what pens do. But the uh, brand there, as you can see, is Sminnaker. And I got that online off of Amazon. The next thing I have at the current time in my top uh, shirt pocket is this Cigar. This is a little mini uh, Placencia Placencia Reserva Original. 
I don't think I'm pronouncing that properly, but it's just a cigar. Occasionally, I like to enjoy a, a cigar. Uh, it's easier to carry around than a pipe and all the pipe accessories. But uh, also in my top shirt pocket, I have my new Arabin Outdoors patches. Well, not patches, but stickers. And uh, on my left hand, or no, on my right hand, I keep a paracord bracelet. And as you can see, I don't know how many feet of paracord that is. If I needed it in an emergency, I used to make these. Might get back into it. But they're easy to do once you get the pattern figured out and you learn how to do it. I made this one. I have small wrists, so I was able to make it to my size. Um, and that's one good thing because the ones that I buy at the store are just too big for me. Because I have small wrists. So that's what I have. That's what I have on my right wrist. On my left hand, I have, of course, my wedding band. And you can see it's a uh, car, car, uh, tungsten carbide, black, so it doesn't scratch, it won't break, it's very durable, and I just like the black. Also on my left wrist, I still am wearing my Timex Expedition watch that my wife gave me, and uh, still on the same battery, no issues at all. It's not scratched up. It's not that worn. But I wear this watch every day. Unless I'm golfing. If I'm golfing, I wear a metal watch. It's a Swiss Army watch with a black face. But again, that'll be on my golf, what's in my golf bag video. Alright, moving on to back pockets. My back back right pocket I always keep my wallet and of course I'm not going to go into details but some things that you do need to keep in your wallet other than your identification passport um, you need to keep information about your health I have a list of my medications in there as well as a list of all of my different doctors in case something were to happen to me, somebody looks through my wallet, right there on top, they're going to see that. Also keep my fishing and hunting license in there, voter registration, insurance information, debit card, cash, rarely, but cash. So wallet is always on you. That's a gimme. Same as on the back left pocket is my phone. This phone, I don't like these things. I, I don't like the technology. Uh, I do like using it as a phone. I occasionally will use uh, Google Maps to get me somewhere that I don't know where I'm going. Um, I'll occasionally watch some YouTube videos, uh, but mostly what I use it for is attaching it, connecting it with my Bluetooth at night, listening to sleep music to help me fall asleep fast. But otherwise, I'm not a big cell phone fan. It's nothing basic. I will show you what I added to the back of it. If you look here, you see this little attachment. And in there, you'll see a little pair of spectacles. And these are two time magnification they just slip onto my nose like that and I can look down and read and see things up close and these come in handy uh, they don't take up a lot of any pocket space and then if you see they slide right back in and they're protected by this rubber thing that sticks to the back of my phone and it's very low profile as you can see. Another cool thing about this is these little things pop up. That way I can set my phone down 
and prop it if I wanted to watch YouTube videos hands free on a table or something like that. But it is important to have a cell phone for emergencies. Just make sure you keep it charged. And in my Azuko everyday carry bag, I keep a charger in there. Alright, so let's move on to front right pocket. On my front right pocket is where I keep my knife. And it's usually a, uh, it's often a different one from week to week or day to day. Just depending on the situation. Sometimes I will have a fixed blade knife attached to my belt. But today I have this little pocket knife. Uh, it's got the carbon fiber. Got a nice little clip there. It's black. Uh, it's comfortable. I keep it sharp. And uh, yeah, just uh, I don't even know the brand of the knife. It doesn't say what brand it is. I picked it up at a gun show. Uh, it was like 10 or 15 bucks, nothing. But I just like the feel of it. I like the look of it. I like that carbon fiber look. I like this little area right here where your thumb can sit. It's sharp. It stays sharp. Um, it's not spring-loaded, but it does have assisted opening. So it's easy to, with one hand, open up like that. So, yeah, it's important to have a knife because you never know when you're going to need a knife. And I don't know how many times people have said, Hey, can I borrow your knife? Absolutely. Here you go. I like to be that guy, don't you? All right, also, on my front, in my front right pocket, I keep this. And this is Duke Cannon Supply Company Cannon Balm. Offensively large lip balm. This is the repair and defend version. It has an SPF of 15. And it is offensively large lip balm. I've had it for 10 months. And I tell you what, this stuff is so big that it just takes one swipe. And uh, that's why it lasts so long. Man, like I say, I've had it 10 months, but it's great stuff. A little secret in golf, and I'll probably include this on that video. But if you put a little bit of this on your driver face, it'll help you with your slice. Just a little cheating tip there. Not that I would do it. No. And then... On my belt, I keep my keys. On my keys, I took off that ferro rod that I used to have on there because it just poked and it just wasn't comfortable and it didn't fit well on here. But uh, the only thing that's changed on my keys is now I have this Night Eyes tool. It's like a little, it can be a little screwdriver, it can be a bottle opener, and there is a little serrated edge there, which is good for cutting paracord, rope, opening envelopes, whatever, and it's flat, so it's just like a key, so it doesn't take up much room, but you gotta have your keys. Now, my front left pocket, I keep... And, of course, I've had this for a long time. This is my favorite flashlight, the Coast G19. Simple one-button activation, on, off, on, off. Nothing fancy. Nothing extreme. Just a basic flashlight. And it's a good size. It has a clamp that you can put either way. So it clips right into my front left pocket. Dang. And then also in my front left pocket, I keep a lighter. Sometimes it's a damn big lighter. More lately than not, it's been this lighter. Uh, the brand, it says, looks like B-A-O-F. 
a lighter. It's a pipe lighter. You can see the little pipe right there. Simple operation. Just push the button. It directs the flame towards the pipe. It's got your uh, pipe tools there, your tamper, your pick, your scoop. Folds up in there. Nice little, nice little lighter. Uh, it's refillable. Ronson fluid just go right in there. I think I've talked about this on other videos. But yeah, that's it, guys. You know, yeah, are there things that I could add and carry? Yeah, I could have, I could carry two knives and two or three lighters and all kind of stuff like that. But what what's the point? I mean, I don't like to walk around with a bunch of weight and bulky pockets. I'm not a cargo pants guy. I don't like them. I can't stand them. I don't wear them. If you do, that's fine. I'm not knocking you. For me, I just don't like cargo pants. So I like to keep things minimal. I know I wouldn't be able to survive in the wild with just this. But with my Azuko bag, I could. With my bug out bag, my med bag, all in my truck or car. Always within short walking distance of where I am are the things that I need for survival. But this is not a survival kit. This is a pocket dump. For those of you who are subscribed and you know who you are, and those of you who constantly leave comments and show support, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. It makes it worthwhile for me to continue doing this. Plus, I just enjoy doing it. And I've got the time. And if you haven't subscribed yet, What are you waiting for? Come on in, man. We'd love to have you here at Urban Outdoors. I guess I've rambled on enough. I appreciate you guys coming along on Urban Outdoors. And until next time, keep calm, carry on, keep it outdoors. Just a little cheating trip, chip. Just a little cheating... Ah... Uh...